Church family, this Sunday night, August 16th, we are starting our One New Man Bible study. Now, I am very excited about this study. I'm excited because the issue of racial, racial reconciliation, the issue of a church that extends and reaches people from all backgrounds and extends Christ's love to them is of utmost importance. It is deeply connected to our mission of spreading God's glory over the planet for the joy of all peoples. And it is integral to our identity as new creation. For Christ has broken down the dividing wall of hostility that like we've learned in our Ephesians study. And church family, as we discuss this important topic, as we read about this important topic, as we pray about how we can, about how we can practice this topic as individuals, families, and as a church, I know that we are going to be a powerful witness to the glory of God and how Christ is the solution to our society's most pressing problems. So church family, I'm very excited about starting this study. Now I'm also very aware of how sensitive this topic is and I do not have it all together on this topic. That is for sure. But church family, we have the word of God and the answers are in the word of God. We have been redeemed by Christ. And what we need to do to walk forward in faithfulness is to hold on to the word of God, to seek God, to humbly come before the word of God and let it transform us. Church family, we have the solution in the gospel. And yet this is a sensitive topic. So church family, we're going to put out some ground rules from the beginning. In this Bible study, and really any study, this, these principles should embody every aspect of our life. Uh, the principles that we're going to uh, really emulate and make sure our guidelines for our study are found in James 1.19. James 1.19 tells us, James says, know this, my beloved brothers, let everyone be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. So church family, as we study this important topic, we are going to be quick to listen. We are going to listen to the perspectives of our church family, people from a variety of backgrounds, and we are not going to assume that our perspective is the same as theirs. In the book of Ephesians, we've learned that God is creating unity amid diversity. So let's respect a diversity of perspectives, a diversity of experiences, all contextualized in light of the cross of Jesus Christ. So church, we are going to be quick to listen. Listen to the perspective of others and not assume that everybody's experience is the same as ours. Second, after we we listen, we are going to be slow to speak. And when we speak, the purpose is going to be edification. We've learned about this in the book of Ephesians on several occasions. We are to use our words to build up, not to tear down. Well, church family, it takes skill about knowing what words build up and which ones tear down. So we're going to be slow to speak. And we're going to bathe our words in prayer. Even now, I prayed before I gave, made this video about what I should say and ask that God would guide my words. Church family, as we speak, our goal is going to be to build one another up. And as we speak, it will have been bathed in prayer. And we will pray to the glory of God that our words would build up and not tear down. And thirdly, we will be slow to anger. Certainly, guys, uh, we will say things that are not right. We will try with all of our, our, our might and in faith, we will say things at times that are wrong, that, is not, that are not right and sinful. This is inevitable, church family. And the temptation for those who are hurt is to get angry. And I get that. I do, church family. Anybody who's been sinned against gets the temptation toward anger. But James 1 verse 20 says, The anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. So after being quick to listen and slow to speak, when we do speak for the sake of building up and we get it wrong from time to time, 
we will be slow to anger. For those who have been hurt, they will extend, we will extend mercy and forgiveness. And for those who have done the hurt, the hurting, do not get angry. Do not be defensive. Let's be humble enough to listen to others and to ask for forgiveness and grace. This has to embody this study, church family. And as we practice love and humility in our discussion, we will be prepared, church family, to be a light to our community. So church family, I am very excited about this study, very confident that we have the word of God to guide us. We have our guidelines about how we will interact. Now, when you prepare for this study, church family, please pray. Pray that God would direct our conversation. Pray that God would direct us for his glory and for the sake of our community's joy, for the sake of the loss all around the world from a variety of ethnicities who have never heard the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray that we would learn for the sake of radical transformation. This is this is my Hope Church family. So each week you will be getting a, um, a handout. I will be emailing this uh, to those to regular attenders. If you are not a regular attender to our Bible study and you are going to be involved in the One New Man study, please email the church office or myself. My email, I believe it's on the website, but it's ferguson.isa12 at gmail.com and we will get those handouts to you. Church family, I am very excited about this study and I can't wait for us to grow together for the glory of God and for the joy of the diversity of his people, for the diversity of the people that call him Lord. Praying for you, church family.